Hey everyone, it's Chris here, uh, reporting in from from the morgue, the very quiet. That is whispering! Holy fuck! Why is there whispering? That's not creepy at all. I gotta, I gotta hear that again, because it's just too creepy. Is someone reading Grey's Anatomy in here and they aren't including me? Ooh. Oh, the good old baby running. Ooh. Forget about that. Oh, baby. One more. Ooh, that's uh, quite disturbing, actually. Uh, let's blow another power uh, power note because why not? I'm pretty sure this is going to be worth it, right? So let's go on in here. It's too much. Oh, wait, wait. What is that? Line racks. I suppose I could do that. I mean, I, I'm so full up on plasma energy, it, it's not even happy. I'm not even funny. So you know what? I'm gonna pick up the line rack schematics. So I'm actually kind of glad I picked that up. So wait, is, is there still a spot open? I, I don't know if there is. What's this? What are these? What are these? Medium air can. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't need it. I will pick up all this uh, energy, which of course I can't pick up. So I don't know what the hell. I guess. I don't need the line racks. This thing kicks too much ass on its own. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I like how the music doesn't kick in until you make eye contact with one of those creatures. That's, uh, that's actually quite a nice touch. What's this over here? Audio lock? Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait. I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. Oh, pretty good entry, but... Uh, also, going back to the comics, like I was saying in my last... Uh, in my last, um, entry, uh, oh. Uh oh. Reload. Oh, don't you. Don't do this. Not now. Okay. That ended quite nicely. What is this, uh, database? Uh, da -da. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a list of the children. Now, um, as I was mentioning before about uh, the Dead Space comics in my last video, um, the guy that was mentioned here in the video log, Harris, is this fine gentleman here. Oh, thank God. Hurry. He's got a line cutter. Kasek, drop the cutter. This fucking quack tried to con me. He said the pills would make me sleep, but they don't. Every night I lie there in these things, these things I think about. I don't want to, but I can't stop it. Hey, hey, listen to me. You're stressed out, I know, but this is not going to help you. Just give me the cutter and let's talk about this. No, you're lying! Come here, you crazy son of a bitch! Doc, you alright? Yes, I'm fine, just a little sh- Doc, what is it? Katie! Oh, fuck. Yeah, so you get to see how, um, how all the comics tie in. A little unscheduled surgery. Hi, lady. How you, uh, how you, how you doing? Uh, you've done the... Well then! Oh, chill. Uh, that's sad. It, it really is. Text log. Dr. Kine, Terrence Kine, uh, Benjamin in a previous conversation asked you to delay bring the marker up in the day or two. 
Uh, happening is unprecedented. Cut short with power time with uh, doctors, uh, Dr. Mercer, and like to meet with Dr. Shirello and Well and plan inside to get their observations. Also, characters from the prequel comics. So, again, the tying in is pretty good. And I, I, it's good to see that a lot of games, not just Dead Space, do this sort of thing, how they take supplementary material and they add it into the lore. So, I, I like it. It's really good. It's a good world building, and I'm all for world building, as I've stated many times before. Okay. Long hallway. That's someone blasting their rock and roll. It's crazy kids. Chief science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions. And we need them quickly. Oh, so I didn't even get to the morgue yet. I was freak. I was freaking out a bit too early. Isaac. Okay, it's dead. I I didn't get to the morgue yet. Oh, this is just fantastic. Shut the door. You're letting the cold in. Oh, look! It's the captain. Oh god. Oh, come on, let the guy Let the guy go. He's had enough. Hey, hey captain. How you feeling? Nope. Captain, I'm going to release Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Get your proboscis out of my face. It's not allowed. Tear that shit out with engineering precision. Relieved you of duty, Captain Matthias. Okay, there's his rig. Good, very good. Hey, Hammond. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. Okay, I'm, I'm not feeling out too what hot. What the hell happened to this ship? You're asking what happened to the ship? The ship is fucked up, Hammond. I think you would know this. Why is there a thousand bucks lying in it in the morgue? Uh, text log. I like text logs. Uh, Doctor Thomas G. Examiner, Captain Matthias. Captain Matthias is uh, officially dead. Reports of his exact circumstances around his death is conflicted. In the scope, I can only report the subject of the body. Generally, good health for his age. The cursory blood test indicates his leukemia count was quite low, with uh, a syphilis and in particular non-existent. pre flight medical examination showed no problems, including rapid onset. However, it's unlikely he had any effects on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands, indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight in contusion in the ribcage. Uh, and the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe causing rapid neurotrauma seizure and death okay so he was stabbed in the eye uh, you want to read this lady I'm trying to read here preliminary verdict of unlawful death uh, beyond my jurisdiction okay so he was murdered in the eye that's how he ended up in here in the first place I don't like this lady That's creepy. Oh, I go out this way. Uh, pick up the phone. The security phone. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're back here in the medical practitioner's lab. Okay, back to the security center. I mean, that, that was pretty good. It's covered. In Can he open the door? And the music starts up again. Nice long drawn out death animation. Sorry, we are full. Is it safe? <laughs> no. I like the bathroom style writing. All right, we're gonna make a quick jump here, just so we can move on to the next uh, section of the court. Ooh. 
Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. We'll launch its ass out already! Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Awesome. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Oh, wonderful. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Well, Hammond is uh, very helpful. Where the hell is the amazing disappearing bitch Kendra? Well, we completed this area here, and I will move on to the next one. And after this um, little section here, I'll be done for the night. Well, we completed Chapter 2, Intensive Care. No sign of Nicole. Hope she's still alive. Otherwise, she's probably one of those evil creatures. Yeah, when you actually think about it, she likely could have turned into one of those necromorphs. You could have killed Nicole and not even have known it. So, well, I bet Isaac feels really good about himself. What's in this tram anyway? Oh. Those fucking corpses were gone back there. You've in the other station. And we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Oh. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Oh, great. So the ship's running on fumes. What was this? Who's this? Personal log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since the captain died. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers started coming back. Hang on, I'm gonna sell my Changed, stuff here. Coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are gonna try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Okay, so it looks like Temple, the ship's engineer, is trying to do exactly what I'm trying to do, which is to pretty much fix everything up. I'm going to buy a pulse rifle. It's a little weak right now, but I'm going to buy a power note too, and some pulse rounds. He's trying to fix the engine just like I am, so you know what? He and I have something a little bit in common. Isn't that nice? Okay, so I need a gun here. Give me a weapon. Okay, um, where can I select? Okay, there we go. The only military grade weapon in the entire game. So, we're gonna save one more time, you know, just to be safe. You'd think that a military grade weapon would be great against these guys. Well, considering that it fires bullets, well, pulse rounds, but they're bullets. It looks a little bit. Um, strange I, I understand it's the future and all that but you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, design some weapons this way is this dead nope it would be stupid to assume that it was wasn't it uh, over there in the crevice of course it's not dead dex log oh look sun uh hollow is Captain Matthias, is Captain dies, and we get tech cards of stuff. Uh, kill them now. Uh, get the hell out of here. We should probably join them. Yeah, you probably should, but where would you go? Down to the planet? Ho oh, ho, don't make me laugh. Okay. Uh, Do this. Capacity. Okay, I'm a little short. Damn. Oh well. We um, managed to up, uh, upgrade this at least a, l a little bit. Let's reload this up. 75 bullets. It's actually not half bad. Uh, do I have to go through here? Now, I'm curious how the ship was running on empty for so long and nobody thought to, to, to run on anything. What, were they freaking idling here in orbit? I, I guess so, considering that, that the amount of work that you would need. I mean, the amount of work that it takes to keep a starship in orbit out of a decaying orbit. 
I, I mean, I, I get it. It's not an insignificant task. I understand. But you think that they would top the fuel off? Malfunction. Kinesis required. Let's check upstairs first before I go over. Oh well, I gotta go here anyway. Activate this, Isaac. Refueling sequence activated. Why do I need Kinesis to do that? Why can't I just use a lever? Why do I have to go through so many hoops just to refuel the engine? Why? Do why wasn't this connected in the first place? I have to gas it up. It's just freaking busy work. To pad out the section. Pull that shit over. So Isaac has the force, I guess. Okay, let's go over. There enough room for two, buddy? LZ wearing on his head. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, it's just the the um, the exosuit. It's not, that's not a spacesuit though. That's weird. It's not a spacesuit. Well, why is he wearing it? I I don't know. Hand hazard. A hand hazard. How is there a hand hazard? I mean, is that one sharp? I don't know metal edge there. Okay, let's try to blast it off there. You know, if you actually ration your ammunition well... I just had a Scarface moment right there. Say hello to my little friend. You know, if you learn how to use it correctly, the pulse rifle could be one of the best weapons in the game, considering that you upgraded to such a massive amount of bullets in the very end. It's incredible, I think. Yeah, the thing has to fire bullets, except that they're probably caseless, which is why pulse. Shut it, Danvers. Shut it. Engineering log. Temple reporting. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than ten hours. I just can't understand who would do this. If it's one of those crazy unitologist bastards, I'll break their neck. Shut up, Danvers. Help me with the tools. Temple out. Uh, so ten hours. That means that at the very least, Temple was ten hours ahead of me before oh, before anything happened. You know, uh, stasis module. Well, that was an incredibly pointless venture over here. I didn't need to do that. Magic glowing light lead the way. I'm supposed to go to the left, not the right. Isaac, I thought you were smarter than this. What's with all the whispering? Why are people whispering? And why am I going in a circle? Okay, I guess I'm going this way. It's like people, it's like the ghost on this ship just won't shut up. Let me explore in peace. Schematics. A ripper. Sounds nice. Again, why do I have to use kinesis modules? Why can't I just use a handle? Sufficient fuel to fire primary engine. Okay, finally. Whatever you did, it's working, Isaac. I have a fuel reading. It's only a quarter full, but that's enough to restore orbit once you bring the engines online. False alarm. Totally so Hammond, you're in a science fiction horror story. I think if it's a false alarm, you probably should be worried because <laughs> it ain't exactly a false alarm now, is it? I should have done a dead check on that guy. Uh, I suppose we gotta go cross, but that's good. Oop. I guess that was his stop. A lot of mist here too, you would imagine that that in such a work environment, you wouldn't want it all filled with mist or over bottomless chasms, stuff like that. 
We'll let werewolves onto the spaceship. Okay. I guess they don't really care about me right now, but I am going to play forward and find a safe station. But until that point, I'm going to have to end the video. Uh, I'd like to thank you all very... Oh. Oh. Yeah! I'd like to thank you guys all very much for watching my videos. It really uh, means a lot to me that you do that. And... I hope that you continue to keep on watching, and I'll make as many videos as I can. I can. This is Actual, and I'm signing off. I'll see you guys in the next Dead Space video.